hi i'm from south africa of course no one is above the law unless if you are the president or you are connected to the right people hello beautiful people my name is sean mashabe and welcome to my channel if it's the first time here just know that you are welcome to my sister and be comfortable and if you are a returning subscriber and this is your vibe period <laughs> then you know that i appreciate you so much now you guys see kelly kumalo is a trending yet again i don't think this case will ever be solved like how many years now yo uh, uh, there is just a lot going on okay so kelly kumalo is trending again of course she is trending because of her ex-lover or her ex-late lover um senzo meiwa and you guys yes the trial is still um ongoing and honestly speaking i don't see um where is this gonna go because most of the time Kelly Kumalo is trending not most of the time every time when Kelly Kumalo is trending it means that there is some new info that just came up but they won't do anything about it this time around it is alleged that Kelly Kumalo hired um a hitman um to kill Senzo but nothing is happening literally you guys she is still enjoying her life she is still posting and I'm not saying she mustn't but i'm just saying if this person our hired um people to kill another person why is she not getting arrested why is she not um getting questioned why there is no movement why something is not happening because at this point i just feel like she should um get arrested so that she can apply um for bail if she is not um found guilty at the end then we would know that okay she was innocent but honestly speaking i'm just like and i'm sure you're also guys confused about actually what is going on here like what the hell is going on so i will be reading um this article from Fagaza News, you know me and Fagaza News, you guys. They said Kelly Kumalo ordered heat on Senzo Meiwa. Lead investigator reveals Kelly Kumalo was named as the one who allegedly hired an Inkabi to kill her baby daddy, Senzo Meiwa. The latest updated was re was revealed in an affidavit read at North Pretoria High by the lead investigator Bongani Gininda. It was further disclosed that the South African singer had wanted to get rid of the soccer player before 2014. There were also cell phone linkages between the singer and accused the number three and five gininda said there is no reasonable explanation why she would be in contact with her boyfriend's killer it is clear she hated him she meant to kill him a photo of money which was found on accused three ndube's phone was also found on kelly kumalo's phone Accused number one, Muzi Sibia, implicated Kelly Kumalo as the person who ordered the heat on Senzo Meiwa. Gininda continued to say the cell phone which was robbed at Kelly Kumalo's home was picked up through cell phone towers near Vosloras. Oh my goodness, what did I just say? Vosloras Hot Hostel. And the planning of the murder took place at the hostel, you guys. Honestly speaking, I think people are now just going to get tired of this case because there uh are -uh, no ways. Like, since the mayor was dead, it's um, no more now. He died not knowing what really happened um, to his son. Um, since the mayor's mom is still fighting for justice. And you guys, like, why there is not nothing that is happening, especially um to Kelly Kumalo? If the if the 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 suspects are saying this is the person who um hired the Ihid or who paid us to kill um her baby daddy, why there is nothing happening? Why is she not getting arrested? Why is she still continuing um threatening people? Because she will literally do a video and be like, um when, when your ancestors are strong, this and that. And I'm just like, okay, I'm not saying she did something, but I'm just saying if there are people here who are saying, no, 
why um this person is the one who hired us to do this job why is she not getting investigated why is she not um getting questioned honestly speaking at this point i don't have a much um to say you guys i just feel like this case um it's not going anywhere and i also just feel like wrong people will end up being um arrested and paying for things that they did not do you know and i and i i, I want to say maybe she is connected to like um powerful people but honestly i don't know i don't know what is happening like her police or the judges are scared of her i don't know like you guys are they scared of her is she that powerful i don't know you let me know you guys because honestly speaking i just feel like south africa as a whole is a joke south africa um south african um justice system is definitely a joke okay like i always say this like we are you guys i just feel like sometimes i just feel like is south africa even a real country you guys because what, what the hell is happening you know and for the first time i see a case or a famous case like this not um going fast enough you know because we would cases will literally um go viral and they get they get solved very quickly like they don't take years and years you know but with this one high school our IA university case is a is a is an own trial is a is a tamaya you guys like when i will have a massage i will have a levana probably never talk of ali rasal mota vega case no it is just um too much hey it's really really um annoying honestly speaking yeah i just hope I don't even know i don't have hope at this point but I'm, for the sake of saying it i just hope um she gets arrested so that they can um question her you guys they cannot just uh, turn a blind eye as if nothing is happening like there is someone who is saying this person hired me and personally i like watching like true crimes and when where where the when it comes to like cases like this where um someone kills their partner you will find that um the case gets solved like like this okay and if the, the the suspect is saying well i did this job because i was hired by this woman or by this man the the woman or the husband the woman or the man they will definitely get um questioned you know and if there is some evidence they will definitely be ke be kept in jail and then um they will start like investigating further on what is happening you know at this point i'm just like no guys mm -mm. let's just continue playing the get to you guys because there is just no way because what the hell is this honestly speaking but anyway you guys um let me know you man let me know what do you guys think about this let me know do you think um Kelukumalo's ancestors are that strong as she says i will try to look for that video where she said they they will never touch you you know when you have um strong ancestors they will just say whatever but they can never touch you yo hi i'm very strong hey but anyway you guys i will definitely see you on my next one bye